So when it comes to earning gold or making gold, the best place to do so is no doubt within the trading posts. No one will argue with you on that point. The problem is, uh, well I say problem, for people who use these guides, it's no problem at all. But most people now are too worried about making hundreds or thousands of gold at a time, selling Ocalcum gear etc etc. But this is great because if people are selling items for such profit, it means that the smaller dudes who are nowhere near that level yet, where they can create items and sell them for thousands of gold profit, it means that these smaller dudes can take advantage of the low end of the market where items like vegetables, herbs, fruit and other rare resources, people don't think twice about buying because they're too busy making hundreds or thousands of gold profit at a time. Because let's face it, if you're earning hundreds or thousands of gold profit, profit per item you sell, why would you waste your time going out and farming nutmeg, basil, sage, onions, coconuts, things like this, why would you waste your time going out and farming them when you can literally buy them for 4 or 5 quid each and that's the point. And this is where these guys will bring you over the next few days will take advantage of. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So people do need to realise when it comes to guys like these, certain things in certain service sell more than others. Some things are less and while well, some things are just more. Some things are just atrociously over the top, what people are asking for. So firstly, if I were you, head to your local trading post and search for items I'm covering within the guys to come to see if it's truly worth your time. Now these guys ain't just fruit and veg, they're for other resources too. So don't worry if you're thinking that you're doomed here with the veg on your server just selling for peanuts because it will bring you many many other farms also. So one of these will truly make you a profit. Now for me Everfall is by far the busiest outpost when it comes to trading probably because it's basically centre of the map so head to your busiest uh, outpost and check the prices there. Now like I said there are those certain items that will make you a decent profit. Some take much, much longer to farm and craft though like star mail ingots or Arikalkum gear. Or they could require you to be a certain level in something. Now most of my guys are going to avoid all of that. So today we are farming provisions crates. Now the beauty with these is they actually have exclusive items you can't find elsewhere. Which is why the contents can sell for such a great profit. And it seems different areas you have exclusive items too. Today's route takes part in Everfall and items you'll find from these crates are milk which isn't a rare resource at all but salt, string beans and wheat can sell for great great money especially salt on my server is ridiculous. Now the thing is these items do seem minimal but like I said check your, uh, your outpost, your busiest outpost and see if there's a decent profit for you to do before you head into trying to do this. If it looks good enough for you, you may as well farm these guys. So yes, use what buffs you can to earn even more and well I hope this helps you guys out. Now when it comes to selling the items you have gathered from these guides, what I will say is uh, obviously you want to undercut people by as minimal as possible but you also want to check recent buy orders, what they've recently sold for. If they're sold for way less than what people are asking for, I'd probably go halfway in between. Because you got to remember, items don't always sell for the price people are actually asking for. They clearly sell for what people have brought them for already. Now there can be a situation where you'll see some of these items may not have been up for sale yet, but people do have them up for sale. That's where I normally undercut them by a couple of quid maybe. And if you notice they fly out like that, then you know the range to sell them for in the future. That's the way I work it anyway and it's the way I've been selling tons of things since moving server because my first server was kind of dead. But now I've gone to a pretty populated server, I have no problem whatsoever selling the items I'm showcasing to you guys within these guides. Now I'm not sure if a lock in regards to monsters and chests work with provision crates I and mean, we can always wear it anyway, you, you got nothing to lose in reality. So if you got any of that gear, slap it on. Now me personally I think farming these smaller items can in reality be just as efficient as getting the materials together to create bigger items which sell for more profit. But yeah, like I said, make sure there is a profit here to be made for you in your server before following anyone's guides, not even my own. And there we have it guys, follow the route on screen now to get tons of these provisions crates. And I hope this helps you 
earn some decent gold. I will leave you now to watch the video. If you enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.